Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. We are live tonight on Facebook, and I am joined by uh, and this is Lucas. I'm joined by Anna. Yep, just us tonight. No Christian. Yep, Christian's on vacation this week. So, <clears throat> and I think uh, here in a couple of weeks I'm going to be on vacation. So Anna and is probably going to be doing it without me here. So. I'm going to try. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if I can learn technology. It's rough. It's I'm rough. sure. I'm sure. It's so hard. So tonight's show, we are doing, I think, I think this was a mistake by both of us. Is this right? Anna, like, did, you, <laughs> did you intentionally order this figure or did you like, or was it kind of? I, I had the intention to cancel it and I just waited too long. Yeah, that's what I, I thought i had canceled it and i forgot that i didn't so it's, we're gonna play uh, the fun game of lucas which hand is holding the one that we're reviewing tonight <laughs> right can you figure it out <laughs> i don't think you can i think it's impossible you could guess uh wait, wait hold on put, put it back up all right all right Oof. It's hard. Yeah, I, I don't know that I can I can do it with the way that you have half the figure covered up here. Half the figure? All right. I'm just covering the important part is what's important <laughs> here. I can't really hold on to it if I... Okay. Here we go. All right. Ah, shoot. That's hard. All right. There. No, I still... I have to cover say, it. That's okay. It, it... All right. The, the point is, the joke is... That the only thing different between these two is the chest plate. I I think, I think so. Yeah, I don't think that there's really for some reason I I think the um there's a handful of other slight differences like is are there? Very, well, I have to look at it again. It's so just so everyone knows, tonight plate. we're doing the spoiler pack from Kingdom, and if you don't want it spoiled. What's the point? Because it's oh, another freaking yeah. Megatron. Ugh. But. Yeah. So this is another version of the Siege Megatron mold. It is very similar to the original Netflix release. This was in the first wave of the Netflix figures, right? Was it the first or second wave? It was the second wave. So this second is wave. the third one, yeah. Okay. So this was from the second wave of the Netflix figures. I only know the difference because he looks like he has tick marks on his chest. And the new one has different marks on his chest. He has like bullet holes, I think. Yeah, he has the bullet holes. I mean, if you look at the the rest of the figure, like the custom paint job, it like there's slight variations in them. So like even without that, now it's hard to pick that up on camera. Um, but the space mud is slightly different. Right. And I, I'm sure it is. Like, I haven't carefully compared these two figures. I just kind of like, I received this, I opened it, I stood them side by side and said, what if I, what am I doing with my life? What, what is this? Oh, uh, by the way, so we, I, I was wrong, uh, it was actually the first wave, not the second. So Randall corrected me. I, I appreciate oh, okay. that. Sorry, I I forgot Optimus Prime and, and Soundwave were the second. That wave, is so. correct. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, um, but uh, but yeah, it was funny uh, earlier today. We we're you know kind of talking in the uh, whatever uh, cash chat, and uh. Rob was was saying he was like that we we were telling him that we were reviewing this tonight. And he's like, "How many of those ha has there been?" And I guess I counted up that there's eight Siege Megatrons, I think total, between because you've got the regular one, you've got the cell shaded one, you have the unreleased G2 Deco, you have the Netflix one, you have this one, you have the shattered glass one, the um uh, perfect or whatever the per, or, I'm sorry premium, premium finish, finish premium finish and then what we'll, I'm missing one the, did one. you say the shattered glass I said the shattered glass one okay I thought there Dang, was, I, I thought was I barely paying attention 
Maybe there's only seven. I'm pretty sure there's eight. I think there's one more that I'm missing somewhere. There are so many. That's anyway, the thing. Anyway, it's a lot. I think you it's might have missed the original. Did I miss the original? original Cell Shaded, Netflix, Netflix, Combat Hero, Shattered Glass, Premium Finish. Did I miss one? Or is it really only seven? Only. Yeah, but so the... Uh... Only the seven. other G, the other two, or the other G two Megatron is the Earthrise Deco. So there's only been a couple of those. So like the, the one that was released, and then the G two finish. So yeah, and I mean, here's the thing: like the the moral of the story, the TLDR of how I think both of us feel about this figure is that it's actually a really good figure. The Netflix. Deco, the first one that we got, the one with these, with the tick marks instead of the bullet holes, that honestly took a good figure. It made it very good with the silver polish and the way that it looks and just the paint job made it very nice. And this is that same toy with a different chest plate, essentially, and a cool accessory, which Lucas is now holding up. Yes. This accessory is really cool, though. It really is. It's very I, fun. I do. I do really like it, and it is in it's in the show at least, so that's a good thing. But yeah, it just comes right off. Yeah, it doesn't actually go all the way around them. It just pegs in to them. But you know, they worked with what they had. They added a cool accessory, and it totally works um, for that purpose. And like Luke had said, just from the preview video, we've already seen that the bandolier does actually show up. So technically, this is so far the most animation accurate version, because I think the chest damage looks more like his chest damage from the animation on this version. <clears throat> yes, that yeah, this one is more show go. accurate. Um, and it's funny, the premium finish one is less show accurate. So I don't understand... <laughs> you know, I guess I guess maybe just since Hasbro released this one, they didn't want to to do you know this again. But um, yeah, who knows? It's hard to say exactly why this thing has been released so many times. But you know, like I haven't been doing a lot of shopping lately, but I haven't really heard about any Megatrons really being bad shelf warmers. I think there was a time. Like, when the Netflix version came out, okay. if I remember, I, I don't know. It, it, it seems like there the was two, a point. He came with the two Target Masters, right? Yes. Um, so that was an extra incentive maybe to get I'm on. I'm thinking of when the cel-shaded version came out. It might be the cel-shaded. The, the packs that they came with came with the regular one, too, I think. Mm -hmm. Like, the whatever the case assortments. Uh, the Walmart got um, their shipping containers and whatnot. And so I think that it may have shelf worn for a little bit then, but like it wasn't bad. I mean. Yeah, it sounds right. The regular release was pretty bland. The original release of this figure, I think it was pretty bland overall. The cell shaded definitely improved it, but then I think the Netflix was what finally made it good enough that I wanted to own it. Right. So, so if you don't know about this figure yet, you know, it's worth owning one version of it. Basically, I don't do what Lucas and I have done. Don't have both of them. Just get whichever one comes with a better pack in to you. If you'd rather have the Target Masters or if you would rather have the purple dinosaur we're going to show off a little bit later. Just pick one. You don't need both. Yeah, I don't know. Um I don't know what I'm going to do with all these extra versions of these, of these characters, you know, like right now I just have them in a bin. Um, and I haven't decided if I'm going to sell them or keep them or what the heck I'm going to do. But it's like, I, I feel like I essentially have doubles of, of every character that I know. Like one is yeah. the Cybertronian version. The other one is the, you know, earth mode, whatever. But, um, yeah, I, I know, Randall, and, like, Anna, you mentioned, too, that you were just going to get, like, a Toy Hack sticker set. And, stick and I did. I ordered one. It still hasn't made it to me just yet, but that's what I'm yeah. going to do. I'm going to sticker one and make it kind of like a, I don't know, kind of a greatest hits of Megatrons. I'm going to use whatever stickers I think look best on them to make them look cool. 
and let this new one be the official Netflix cartoon Megatron with his Matrix Mandalayer. That works for me to justify having both of them, but ugh, they're just not different. Right. <clears throat> and the yeah. funny thing is that the sticker set, like the Toy Hacks one, I know there's probably other sticker sets out there that I don't know about, but Toy Hacks is my usual go-to. That sticker set literally comes with pieces, multiple different options to cover the entire chest plate. So by doing so, you negate the only difference between these two figures that's really noticeable is the chest plate, but whatever. It also comes with helmet stickers and everything, and you can make them. Um, you have the options with the sticker sets. There's a special sticker set to make him into the minor Megatron, and the other sticker set can make him either the toy version or it can do the Autobot Megatron from the comics. So you have options to make them into different guys. That's what I'm gonna do. See, see, there you go. That's what you do with like your 50 versions of Megatron. Cause yeah, like I don't know, I, I like this one the best. Like this is probably my favorite one. But I mean, it's it, again, it's a slight upgrade from the original Netflix one. And um, you know, the Earthrise one, it's like. I mean, that one is, is cool, but, like, I like this better. So, it's like, what are you going to do with, I don't know. I mean, I just have this other one just kind of sitting down here. But, you know, it's like, oh, you know, I, I don't know. It just doesn't look quite as good as, like, I think this looks a lot more menacing and cool than than what this one does. And honestly, even if you're going to sticker it up, I think it's better to start with the silver one. Because it does look mm -hmm. that much better than the original gray. Yep. But you have options. There are things you can do with these. So, you know, if you've been tricked into buying multiples like Lucas and I, you can still save yourself. Well, it's not really tricked. It's more, I don't know. You know, I was doing pretty good at keeping my spreadsheet up to date with like, you know, my pre-orders and where I had them at and whatever. And then I, I let it slip on this one. And here we are. I just could not give up on the pack in for this, the other character that came with that was just too appealing to me. Yeah. Well, so should we of, go to it? I was going to say, part of it for me was, is having the bandolier accessory. Like I really like, like I, I like this a lot. Now it's obviously not worth the money to, yeah. you know, to spend for this, but I don't know. Hopefully I can offload my Netflix one at some point. So. The bandolier is really fun and it does look nice. You can't take the Matrix off of it, but if you're collecting this line, you probably have 15 other Matrix matrices, so you're probably good to go. Right, right, right. All right, so we can move on to the good part. Then Anna's favorite figure right here. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty nice. So I, I was kind of making a joke to myself before we did the show tonight that without Christian here... You have one of us who really doesn't like repaints, especially repaints without retooling. That's me. And then you have the one of us who doesn't really like fossilizers. That's Lucas. So we're perfect people to talk about these two figures. Okay. So this actually kind of sells me on getting the crazy repaints um, from Pulse, like the selects, um, I don't know, whatever, transmutate and, and, and whatever the, the orange... Triceratops is. I, I have no. I, I don't know what the name is. Do, wh uh, I don't I mean? remember. Yeah, wh I... whatever that is. But this is a really cool figure. Like I really like the look of this, and I think that, yeah, as much as I hate the, the regular fossilizers, um, as far as the robot modes, like just the crazy colors and the the, purple and I, you know, like the they've got this little like paint effect on the blade and whatnot like i think it looks really neat so this is skelivor this is the companion figure for the megatron we're assuming that this is somehow implying the relationship between the two megatrons in the cartoon we'll see spoil something but it's a purple dinosaur it's paleo tracks but clear purple basically ron says it's tricanicus is the the um okay other one I was referring to. That makes sense. Because they made it more Triceratopsy. I'm sorry, Tricanius. Yes. 
Yet it does show the difference between our lighting and our cameras, that they look like entirely different colors. And I'll say, according to my eyes right now, neither one is accurate. Mine is too light and too, like, translucent. Lucas's is too pink. The reality is in between those two. Purple never shows up right on camera. Right? Yeah, so this is a straight, a straight repaint, right? Or re-plastic, mostly, because, you know, it's just done in translucent plastic for the most part. Whereas the transmutate that isn't out yet is also Paleo Tracks, but that's a full repaint and retool, at least with the new head. This has the same head. It's the same fun, you know, it's a skull that can homage the Primal Mace or whatever you want it to do type of deal but it's just fun because you know it's got this clear purple thing going on and it's all pretty much clear plastic too so if you uh if you like clear plastic yeah it looks real nice on the shelf it makes a great dinosaur and a great you know whatever the hell it is person with horrible arms and tiny little legs It's funny, Ron says he can't wait to see the wing finger repaint for the crazy looking combined mode. Yeah, me neither. I can't wait to just see the wing finger repaint at all, because I hope they do something really fun with it. I think it's funny that it's like, I, I've been sitting here complaining about these fossilizers, and yet somehow, you know, here I am in for all of them and, you know, getting the repaints, but... If I could figure out a way to offload the originals, I, I would, but I, I don't know that I'm... Maybe years down the road, who knows? TF Expo uh, 2022. We'll see. Once I play with the... Um, once I play with all three together, I might want two sets of each. You never know. Yeah. I'm going to see how it goes. Because I haven't opened my wean finger just yet. I don't know. I may do, What I may just do is have the originals like in the dino modes... Um, that would work like the fossil modes and then and then have these in the robot modes so yeah this this will still make a pretty good looking dinosaur fossil thing i mean as far as i know i've never seen bright clear purple dinosaur fossils in real life but it's it still looks like dinosaur fossils that pulls it off just fine still has the accessory tail sword doohickey just like it did before mm -hmm. and you can still take it apart in the same ways as before making its head into a tiny mace and um the configuration shown on the packaging basically shows it making a second set of arms coming out of megatron's back hmm. where it's all like creepy looking which i kind of like i might do that for a while that looks pretty fun there you go after watching the third uh season of the netflix show yeah, I'll have to. So what's funny is these um, these spoiler packs so far, this is the first time that like it really makes sense because, you know, the first spoiler pack was um, the first spoiler pack was the Magnus, right? Yeah. Which and it kind of looked like a the dead Magnus. I it kind of looked like a damaged Magnus, which could foreshadow what happens to Magnus in the series, perhaps. The second one was worse because it was the Nemesis Prime that shows up in like a three second what if segment, which was hey, a real. We don't know, like, you know, we still got that third segment. That's like, what I was getting up. to. Did, wasn't he on the preview? Oh, sorry. If you watch the preview for Kingdom, all three of these spoiler figures are in that preview. So the bandolier is shown, a weird. Magnus with some different things going on shows up and a Nemesis Prime. And they all seem to be like actual people actually mattering to the story. So it's like the payoff for these spoiler packs seems to be towards the end of the series, which is, I don't know, I guess interesting. Something. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to say they made sense. But I don't know if the fossilizers are actually going to be integrated at all in the show, so. I we'll have a feeling, I, I could see this literally just being a reference to Megatron. 
to be Swords Megatron, just a cheaper way to get us a reference to him. Or it might actually be, you know, the only fossilizer that shows up, similar to how Cog was the only real, um, what, what were they called? They were weaponizers. Weaponizers, yeah. Yeah, he was the only weaponizer to show up. He got to be cool and interesting, so who knows? We can hold out hope a little bit. Just don't expect Micromasters. <laughs> Or target master things. Or or for the micromasters to ever be finished. Yeah, we didn't expect any of that. Or for a complete set of cassettes or anything like that. Right, right. But do expect more Megatrons. Yes. No, I, I am certain. There's only one thing I'm certain in life. That there will be more Megatrons. <laughs> there will be more Megatrons. So I think it sounds like we would both definitely recommend trying to find a way to get Skelivore. Like, it's really cool. <laughs> Is there a way to get it without getting like, no, I don't know. hopefully I, I would assume that this pack and I have no idea what quantities they're making it in. I know yeah. that the original pack, I think went on uh, some clearance and whatnot. It was, it was pretty easy to find. Um, the second pack was actually has been somewhat hard to find with the nemesis prime. Um, and I, I think that he's, kind of back up in some places recently but it's still like that one seems like that's kind of the hot one uh but of course i mean nemesis primes you know one that a lot of people like to collect uh i can't so see this being the hot I one don't see yeah I, I don't see how this one is the hot one um so i i would think that this is gonna go on clearance but who knows people are gonna want skill of war but it takes a takes a special kind of um, creative person to sixty dollars what skill of or right special kind of person names include Anna and Lucas you know but not Christian that's why he isn't here so. I know well, see that's the thing is is I I really question some of my choices here considering that Christian's out on these and then the fossilizers and whatnot it's like wait a minute like how am I in on it. If you ever wondered which of the three microcasters was the smartest, we may have answered it tonight. Right. right. So. But the only one able to resist this. But I just, I mean, I really like the fossilizers. I think they're very fun. They're fun to take apart and mess with. They're fun looking in the first place. They're monsters. They're undead. Maybe. I mean, they really don't have fiction, so they can be undead if I want them to be. And this is a fun, bright colored. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, I think it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, I would say that if you don't have the Megatron already or you have a way to get rid of that Megatron, like, you definitely don't need both the original Netflix <sighs> Megatron and this one. But. You do not, unless you really plan to sticker one up to be a different guy yeah. in some way or another. I really just don't see the point. Like, putting them side by side of the shelf, you shake your head at yourself. You're just I mean, like, oh, I guess God. I will say what have I done? that... If you collect like official ones and you're not into those flame toys kits and so you want to be able to have an Autobot Megatron or Minor Megatron or whatever, like, you know, all these Sage Megatrons, it's probably not a bad idea to get extras yeah. to, to do that for. But uh, yeah, most people don't need the extras or or you like to mold collect it. Yeah, that'd be yeah, it's not a bad figure. The only complaints I've really ever had with that figure are the lack of wrist swivel, and then the head kind of collapses a little. But um, yeah, this but one's way less fixed. loose. Yeah, I was going to say, they yeah. kind of fixed that on later releases. The original release was really loose on that, but then the later ones have been fine. So, yeah. honestly, like it's a good Megatron as long as you like tanks. Not going to get a gun Megatron yeah. anytime soon. I mean, I will say, I, I know we never actually uh, reviewed the Earthrise Megatron. Like, I like the tank mode of this one better um, than the other ones. But, like, the other ones I like. Like, I like the head better on that. I don't know. For whatever reason, this head I just don't love. Um, I, and I don't know what it is. No, I like it as much it either. Just, it, just, it just doesn't seem... And I don't know if, like, if this was actually silver, like, if they completely did the figure, you know, in, in, in silver paint rather than uh, just the gray, I, I, I don't know if I would like it better. It's hard to say. But, like, I yeah. really like the G2 version of it, um, <coughs> the the green one. Like, I think that one looks great. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, this one, I, I 
I'm not so sure about. So. So can we talk about the really mysterious part of these spoilers packs? The really unexplained mysterious part. I guess it's taking a quick break. Sorry. So let's talk about the really unexplained part of these spoiler packs. The fact that they come <laughs> with a with little the bit of black Play-Doh. Well, there's stuff inside of it too, right? Have you dug through yours yet? No, I haven't opened it yet. I haven't opened okay. any of the Play-Dohs. Ah, so yeah, this one comes with two blast effects. Oh boy, more blast effects. I mean, I'm sure that would entice Christian to buy it. I'm sure. And what I assume is the all spark looks like, it looks like a D 20. So I assume that's all sparky. I think it even has a tab so you can put it on too. Yeah. You can put it on one of the blast effects tabs on your transformers. Oh, there you go. <laughs> They're growing at all spark. Woo. It's like, it's like acne, but weirder. So yeah, that's what you get. You notice the residue from the black play-doh and you also notice how I haven't actually opened this because I actually don't care. But I was really excited to get to smell Play-Doh because, you know, this Ooh. is, this is Play-Doh for sure. It smells good. It plays good. And then you Exclusive have black Play-Doh. Play yeah. Yeah. There black Play-Doh. It's Super very exciting. odd. I guess they just wanted to try something fun. Like, you remember how back in the day they made all those um, different toys that came in like the little... The little baggies that you had to put in water to dissolve. Mm -hmm. That was like the way they did blind boxes back then. Maybe they just wanted to have like a quick throwback to things like that. Yeah, I don't know. Even though it's not a blind box at all, you know. Well, maybe maybe it was the Play-Doh guy that wanted to get in on the action. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. They, he needed to make some quarterly sales goal, and so they're there like, you go. Hey, let's sh ship some of this stuff with the. Uh, with that, I, yeah, I don't know. How do we, how do we um, justify ten dollars over the retail price of these two figures? Ah, uh, Play-Doh. That's how we do it. Yes, yes. Because really, the accessory alone, you know, this little accessory, probably not going to do it. The All Spark, probably not going to do it. But that Play-Doh date it, bam, we are covered. I don't know. It's it's strange, but this whole thing's been kind of strange doing the spoiler packs. But I don't yeah. know. I don't I don't hate it. It's been kind of fun. Like it's pointless to make a spoiler pack because of how much we share information online. Like everybody who wants these is spoiling themselves on them. Right. I mean, I think that having this pack for retail was dumb. Um like it's Probably. just it doesn't it doesn't work for at the at the price point or whatever to have it where you can't tell what the figure is and all that um, if you don't know like the random shopper is not going to pick up a box that is spoiler oh, goodness. Pack for for sixty dollars or whatever so like I think that was a miss but I mean it seems like that they they started selling them online after the first wave and whatnot because Walmart's like yeah we don't want this so. I, I think that that's probably a better way to, to go about it. Um, but I, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see. Yeah. I, I guess they won't do this in the future. Cause I, like, I don't know if they're, you know, whatever the next transformer show, I mean, there's going to be a bot bot show, but we don't know if there's going to be any other Netflix shows or not, but I don't know. We'll see if they keep it up. I just think they were trying to capitalize cause you know, blind boxes and gotcha pawn is really popular especially among the younger crowd these days. And I think they were trying to Why, do something like that. Like five bucks. Right. Exactly. <laughs> this isn't really a good application of that. You know, like your parent who isn't very informed about what their child likes is not going to take, is not going to roll $60 worth of dice to get their kids right. a cool toy. They're going to buy something that has a window box that they can see that their kid likes. So it doesn't work for that purpose. And yeah. I mean, I, I think know. if they did something somehow at like a comic book convention or, or some type of convention that could sell, you know, because blind boxes are big at, at conventions. But oh, yeah, I could have seen that. I could have seen them doing right. it as a box set at a con just fine. And all yeah. all of these have been during the pandemic. So that may have been the original intent. 
Yeah. You never know. But, you know, they are here. They are what they are. And they've been fun enough. Hey, as Ron said, that uh, Ollie's needs stock, too. So (laughs) (laughs) this helped add to the top. Ollie's that's stock. true the last one or the first one should first have always a lot didn't it the magnus yeah. that magnus mold is I, almost as cursed as this megatron mold i have to imagine again that i guarantee you that the second and third waves that the amount of production that they have has to be like half of what that first wave was because like that thing was everywhere like it showed up at walmart's it clearance at walmart's it showed up like <laughs> everywhere else and ollie's and and all that type of thing so they it has to be they had to have like just cut the production of the subsequent um boxes after that yeah i i would say the one thing i really like about this is tying it into the cartoon events you know how years later a lot of like the third party companies especially but even the masterpiece stuff they like to they like to pack in that one thing from that one episode, right? Like that one episode we really remember, give us the one accessory, the right. monster mask, um, the third party ones that have the girl who loved Power Glide, you know, that kind of stuff. It's fun to us. And they're kind of preemptively doing it with stuff like the Matrix Vandalier. Because it's like, you know, there's that one time that Megatron put the Matrix on his chest in a Vandalier. And that's actually pretty dang cool. I'd like to see more of that type of accessory but not in a $60 blind box. That just isn't really the place for it. <laughs> yeah. uh, Randall says he slightly regrets not getting Nemesis. And I would say that is by far the best one. Like that's the one that's the most worth it. Like I don't, I don't think that ultra Magnus was really worth it at all. Especially oh. considering we got another freaking Magnus in in Earthrise. Um, but, um, but yeah, like the Nemesis is, is neat, especially considering that like the siege nemesis um never got released in the u.s like the original one so like ha- having that in the in the trailer and all that um i don't know i know anna you had the power of the primes version um which is a cool yeah version which is super well. neat yeah yeah and i think some of the same accessories came with that pack so yes netflix one they actually too, brought so. the accessories forward they even brought the bird sword forward right right yeah. The transforming sword. That was like one of the coolest parts of that set is Giza. So that was really cool. Yeah. No, that was probably the best. Like that's the one I would, I would have definitely picked that one up had I not had the Amazon one and not really needed it. That was really uh, cool. I, I just gently placed my power of the primes, uh, nemesis, uh, in, in a box and, uh, you know, and then I put up the, you know, the Netflix one. Yeah, yeah. I'm using mine in a strange way, but I like it. Oh, you can actually see it behind me that I made the the trailer into a little throne for the little nemesis spot to stand. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. And I also have the dead Optimus Prime splayed behind it as a sacrifice. It's very, yeah. very uplifting. I was trying to do an uplifting, very, very child friendly display. There you go. Hasbro gave me a bunch of all dead toys recently. I had to embrace yeah, that. Yeah, right. Yeah, you you know, Rick was asking before when we got the undead prime, what am I going to do with this prime and like how am I going to display them? And Hasbro says, "Don't worry, buddy. We will just keep churning out some undead uh, characters and then that way you just have a whole shelf of them." Yeah, my display stand for tonight is the next one. Mm. Hey, we, we got the sparkles, the sparkless seeker here. Yeah. Ready to go for the next corpse toy. I'm excited. And, and it says sparkles because every time, like my autocorrect, whenever we would talk about it, it would autocorrect to sparkles from sparkless. Yeah, it's, I, I think it's been a pretty universal joke. So. Oh, I want to mention Book Club on Sunday, uh, 8 o'clock, we'll be watching Animated uh, Episode 3, and then at 9 o'clock, we'll be watching Drift Empire of the Stone, or I'm sorry, watch discussing uh, Drift Empire of the Stone Issues 1 and 2, Um, so those are both central time, so add an hour for Eastern. I'm excited to see more Drift stuff. 
I, I really haven't experienced drift before I started reading these IDW comics. So Did, it's fun for me. The, the IDW, whatever the, the drift. I never, I never saw any of his introduction material. I only saw him introduced as a, a, a crew member on the lost light. So just the kind of jolly, goofy, religious drift. Are, are but you guys I've gonna, liked him so far. Are you guys going <laughs> to keep going with the drift issues and, and whatnot as well? Do that whole I think we're reading everything on? that's chronological. Oh, okay. For the rest of time, I think, until it ends. And then the plan is ends. vaguely that we'll go to the new IDW after that, but we'll see. It never, it never ends. So this is going to be like two years before we get to that. Right. So, you know, <laughs> they'll, they'll cancel the series before you, then you're like, all right, there we go. We can finally start. Yes, that's right. So uh, I think that's pretty much yeah. all I have to say about this. You Lucas. Yeah. I don't have anything else. So, uh, <laughs> cut the tape will probably be on Saturday. Assuming that Rick sends it to me. Um, so we'll see. And then uh, check out uh, TFLP on uh, Monday nights at 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central. Um, yeah, no, I have anything else. Oh, uh, if you want to uh, continue discussing uh, TFLP things, uh, join us in the Discord. Uh, the link should be on YouTube and our Twitter, uh, social media and whatnot. But uh, it's a lot of fun. We discuss a lot of the news of the day uh, kind of stuff and Anna put some weird stuff up. I share pictures of relevant transforming robot toys that I think people will be interested in. Well, the pictures that you showed, you know, whatever, to, was it today, this morning, whatever, those were not transforming robots. Those were what? something. No, this is a transforming robot. That's a transforming robot. Okay, well, yes. there you go. I apologize. I'll have to show you later. I'll have to show you later. These these two combine into a stealth jet. Oh, okay. They're from Big Firebird's Magical Henshin series. Oh, of course. Okay, well, I, I apologize. <laughs> I did not realize it was, I that they were transforming robots. So. <laughs> they are, in fact. There, there we go. So... All right, That's the well, kind of fun discourse you can look forward to on Discord. Feel free to join us. There, there you go. Um, thanks uh, to everyone in the chat. Uh, thanks to Ron and Randall. Um, so. I think that was it, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, we had another person post earlier. Did we? <laughs> yeah. First name started with a J. James. Oh, James, you're right. So, Ron Randall and James. Yeah, Thank James. you. So, but yeah. Um, thanks, guys. And we will see you next week. Good night, everyone. Thanks. <laughs>